The 9-11 report does a nice job of showing the incompetence and lies of NORAD, but it leaves lots of unresolved issues that are much more troubling. For example, the official story is that fire caused both towers to disintegrate, but no steel-framed skyscraper has ever been destroyed from a fire. How did fire destroy steel buildings on September 11th, when fire has never destroyed steel buildings before or since? Building 7 collapsed at 5.30 in the evening. This was another steel-framed skyscraper, and with 47 stories, it was almost half the height of the towers. How and why did this building crumble? No airplane hit it. In May 2002, FEMA released a report in which they claimed they have no idea what happened to Building 7. Since they don't know what happened, how can they tell us Osama was responsible? The official story is that the towers collapsed as one floor hit the floor below it, and then those floors hit the floor below them, causing a chain reaction. However, videotapes and seismic data show that the floors were falling at free-fall speed, which is a sign that the floors were not encountering any resistance as they hit one another. How can the floors of a steel building fall on top of one another without slowing down every time they hit another floor? As the floors fell down, clouds of dust were thrown hundreds of feet horizontally. Analysis of this dust by the government shows that it was full of concrete. How did the concrete in these towers pulverize into such a fine dust? And what caused the dust to be thrown hundreds of feet outward? NASA and the U.S. Geological Survey measured the temperature of the rubble five days after the collapse. Some areas of the rubble were above the melting point of aluminum. How can a building fall down and leave such incredibly hot rubble? especially with firemen spraying water on it. The editor of Fire Engineering magazine was so disgusted by the government's investigation that he wrote in the January 2002 issue that the investigation was a half-baked farce. The military and FBI are still refusing to release the security videos that show Flight 77 crashing into the Pentagon. Why are we not allowed to see what happened? These are just a few of the unresolved issues of the September 11th attack. There are also unresolved issues about Flight 93, which crashed in Pennsylvania. The official story is that less than two dozen Arabs conspired to attack America on September 11th. But even if only one of the points of this video are true, then the conspiracy is much larger than the government claims it was. Let's now take a more in-depth look into some of the events of September 11th.